week six of the college football season here with John Parker Wilson going to get his great call for this week and I want to talk about Levi Wallace. He's a senior on this football team had an outstanding performance named the league's SEC defensive player of the week. Two interceptions one a pick six the first non offensive touchdown for this Alabama team this season. Overall how does he set the tone for the secondary? He really does set the tone like you said having a defensive touchdown it really rubs off on the rest of the team not just the defense of having that spark scoring points happening in the first quarter um, you know led them to a huge victory again this week i think him with his special story is pretty remarkable to be surrounded by a team of five-star guys to be able to, to force that turnover get the interception you know a lot of what we saw from alabama's defense last season was creating turnovers and scoring so it'd be nice to see the defense to get back to that you know, get, get hungry and try to get back in the end zone. Yeah, being six weeks into the season now, we've only seen one of those. Now, talking about his story, he was a former walk-on, came in his freshman, sophomore year, didn't get any playing time, gets a scholarship going into his junior season in the fall. Uh, you had a teammate like that when you played, Rashad Johnson. Just being able to see these guys going up, like you said, against five-star guys that are scholarship players and beating all these guys out. It's pretty awesome to, to be able to do that, to go to school, to pay your way through it. Um, other guys on the team know what you're going through and, and they know what it's like and for you to be rewarded that scholarship is just so special um, because it, it takes so much it takes extra work and really for, for him to be able to do that the other guys are thinking you know if he if he was over here by himself working out trying to just earn a scholarship trying to get on the field and now he's contributing in player of the week um, it, it's just inspiring for everybody on the team and it's really good to hear these good stories Rashad Johnson best teammate ever same you know came in as a running back transitioned to cornerback found a home at safety end up playing in the NFL for 10 years great to see good things happen to good guys love to see those unsung heroes now we talk about Texas A&M that's Alabama's next opponent their wide receiving core very strong what is Nick Saban doing to get these guys ready especially some other defensive backs when you talk about the size matchup and the variation these are some big receivers especially in Christian Kirk at Texas A&M yeah big receivers are the toughest to go against the good thing is we had a really good dress rehearsal this week against Ole Miss yeah. and holding them to a hundred points lower in their passing efficiency rating we got after the passer really really forced his issue made him throw it faster I think when our defensive front gets pressure on the quarterback makes him get through his reads a little bit faster, thinks things are uh, happening good in the secondary. Have to cover a little bit less, uh, not as far, not as deep downfield. The one time we didn't get pressure was against Colorado State. Nick Stevens had a huge day against us, so have to continue that pressure up front. Great call, JP Dub.